And this is the SIG P250. slides to the slide catch mm -hmm. which is right there this piece goes down all the way and then forward mm -hmm. like pointing that way now mm, slides slide all, forward okay slides all the way off and that spring that I took out of there this is a mini version of that oh okay for the pistol gotcha and this is actually, for those of you who don't know, this is a discontinued pistol. And that's your barrel. Gotcha. And your slide. I wonder why they discontinued these. I don't know. I know, I know uh, when I was trying to find um, clips for it, it was harder to find clips. Yeah, it is. And then I found out, that's how I found out it was discontinued, but I didn't mm -hmm. see why it was discontinued. Yeah, I guess they need some oil. Because I love that gun. Like, that's probably the f best pistol I've had and I mean compared <laughs> compared to the P320 yeah it just has less recoil and it's a little lighter but I mean it's a smaller gun too P320 is a little bit bigger <clears throat> yeah you need to oil all down there see where it's turning silver because mm -hmm. the top of the barrel rubs right there uh, every time okay. it cycles so I lube in there and then all down. I just take put on my finger, run it down both sides. It's not too dirty. It's just dry. All right. And then I also put some oil. There and normally I put it in those channels too. If you can normally I'll try. Drop there, drop there, let, and let it, it roll be down. Yeah, let it run down. But well, I'll put some on the gun rails too that interlock with that. Oh, okay. This shit goes a long ways. Have a whole lot like a drop here and there yeah will last a while i see i think i'm gonna leave the p the p250 i'm gonna i mean i'm gonna leave alone i'm gonna leave it stock how it is yeah, but yeah. the p320 i want to customize yeah yep because i've seen some oh, guns up there at the this. gun show that i was like man i gotta i gotta do some of yeah. this shit <laughs> yeah it's nice <clears throat> Especially with the P320 being the one that I keep on me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they still make the 320. They make a shitload of stuff for the 320. I keep the P250 here for yeah. home defense. Because mm -hmm. I got... I got these. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hornady XDPs. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Extreme terminal performance. That's that. Don't come in my shit if you want to leave. You can leave with right bag. Yeah. I remember the dude that sold them to me was saying oh, yeah. um you don't want to hit you don't want to get hit by that. Yeah, they they go in and, and oh, explode yeah. basically. So yeah. most of most of all that self defense shit's dirty. Yeah. You don't want to get hit by any of that shit. <laughs> if you're lucky and you break into somebody's shit, you'll get hit with a target bullet. If you're lucky. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah if you're lucky. That's still gonna Fuck your ass up. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Because those are, those were expensive. Oh, yeah. 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 
well worth yeah. it, I think, oh, yeah. for home defense. And normally on this, I oil this too, just to keep the noise down too, and it just smoother. Too, if the barrel has rust, you can see it when you hold it up to the light when it's clean. Don't have any. It's here. That's just to clean it. It's just like a brass little brush. Oh, okay. Which you can, I think you can buy these two in a pack. Or pistol wise, it's easier just to buy a pistol cleaning kit. Okay. They make a bunch of different ones. But when you get. Once you get the kit, then you can buy, set, you know, once you use, wear shit out or whatever. Um, and this is, I think this one's called a mop is what it is. And normally I'll take it and run it through dry just to see if there's anything else left in there. Okay. It's, it's clean now. Yeah, it's not, not, too, not too dirty. And another, a lot of times I'll put some oil on it too if it hadn't, if it's not too dirty. Through yeah, and that's this comes with like a pistol, a pistol cleaning kit. It's just a rod and the screw, all those things screw on the end of it. Okay. Yeah, I know recording this would definitely come in handy because. Memory would not be so so good no, no, with some not, of this not, shit. Not, not, not until you do it for <laughs> a long a while. Clean that and see if I can get that shit off. Okay, clean. Yeah, that's not very dirty at all. A little, but mostly needs your oil. That's your uh, feed ramp when it goes from the magazine. It's like that. Oh, okay. And then it pushes up uh, into it. Gotcha. So you always want to make sure that's clean, the feed ramp. Okay. So and not damaged or no, you know, nothing like that. Make sure it's good and clean. I don't know if I put just a little bit of oil on it normally. But I always look at it, make sure, you know, shit ain't look like somebody's been putting rocks in that shit. All right. Because <laughs> that'll have, sometimes that'll make a gun not cycle. If it's fucked up. I think I've had that, I've had the P250 for, I got it from Gander Mountain and Mesquite. Yeah, uh, before they closed. Was, yeah, before, yeah. So it was probably. It's been a while. Four, four or five years ago. Mm-hmm. Maybe, well, maybe three or four years ago. Yeah, Except probably. Three or four years ago. And I actually got a great deal on it. Brand new uh, with the case, the flashlight and laser, mm -hmm. two clips. Um, it was like five fifty. Yeah, that's cheap. You could, you could probably sell it for that and maybe even more right now. Yeah, now I figured I'd probably be able to sell it more just because it's discontinued. Well, yeah, people Jeez. are looking for it. On the oil, I oil the whole thing. So I'll no, when I hold the barrel because the barrel will slide in and out of that. Okay. So I normally oil that and then I'll uh, take something and kind of hold it to oil the, this other, the rest of it. Now, I don't know if the gun shows. I was looking and I didn't see any P250s. I saw P320s, oh, 365s. Yeah. yeah. I think I saw like a two, 
twenty something. Yeah, two twenty six. Yeah. I yeah. I didn't see any two fifties. So mm-hmm. Should have took it with me and tried to sell it up there to some one of them people up there. You probably could have if you wanted to get rid of it. I really don't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's probably but my favorite gun to shoot. You you, you won't want to get rid of any once you get them. You'll be like, damn, I love that. Yeah. Gun. I got some shit that's really hard to find, and I'm like, I ain't, I ain't getting rid of that shit. I got one that's been discontinued too. Well, they they don't make that style anymore, and it's, it's a 1911. Mm. Uh, uh, it's a single stack magazine where the bullets are st- st- stacked directly on top of each other. It only hold like eight. Mm. Is all it'll hold. Okay. But most nineteen elevens are like that. Unless you get a double stack, that's considered like a double stack. Right. It's where they're offset. One here, one you know, so you can get more in your more in it magazines. I mean, I like the gun a lot, but I wouldn't carry. I I don't know. I probably I might carry it, but I'd rather carry more. So this one holds twelve plus one. Okay. But this is a three sixty five, but I've modded it. It has a 365 XL frame. The frame is bigger and holds because the 365 only holds 10. Okay. This is 365 XL frame holds 12. Nice. So and then they make a magazine for this that holds 15. Mm. And then plus one if you carry in the chamber, which I carry in right. loaded. So I all I pull it out, bang. All right. It's good to go. Like I guess even you different people call it, you know. Carry it hot, you know. Hot means loaded. I mean, but you know, don't fuck around and pull the trigger, <laughs> right. unless you, you know, because I bet it's gonna go off. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't carry hot unless I got a holster. So, because you're asking them to get your, get with your fucking leg blown off. Right. If you don't have a holster and you're carrying it hot, did you see how I put that back together? It's easy. The barrel just like that. It goes in just. Stick it in there, and then, and then it'll lock itself back. Oh, okay. And then the spring in this goes in there, and there's a little red. It just sits right in front of that, just right on that. Oh, okay. That's it. Nice. And so that's done. So um, pistols are probably the fastest and easiest to yeah. clean, huh? Yeah. This one's not too, it's not too dirty. I would say you could take the thing off if you need to. No, it's good. It's not that nice. And like I said, some this stuff's really not that dirty. So normally you can just take like a paper towel. I use also use Q tips, but you gotta watch because they'll leave lint. Mm. But they're good because they'll get down where your finger can't get. Right. So I bought like a big ass thing of Q tips at Walmart, and I, and they're good for oil too to put oil on a Q tip and then get down. So I use those to clean and I mean shit, you can get like a box of like five hundred for like four dollars or yeah. some shit. That should last forever. So. Because this is a hammer fire gun. That's a hammer. Because remember the piece that I told you was in there was silver? Mm. That's what made it. That's what that hits on the back side. There's that one. That little silver piece right there. Oh, okay. That's the same. Basically the same thing. The firing pin. But yeah, this gun's not that. It just needs a little bit of oil. Normally on here, I'll put a little... Yeah, I took oh, it to the gun range nice. last time. This is Ambi. It's both sides. Slide lock both sides. Huh. Their shit now is just single sided. That's double tier. Oh, it's only single, I think. What gun? Have you been used to go up there to uh, Louisville? Uh, DFW gun range over on Mockingbird. Oh, yeah, yeah, by the FedEx office? Yeah. Right down there? Yeah. Straight. Yeah, because the time we went, I think it was like 7, and the one over here closes at 7. Oh, so yeah. That I one out there. I've never been to that one. I haven't either. I was gonna. I almost stopped in there the day I was working. I, yeah, I did a delivery there one day, and like, I was looking know, around. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I've never been in there. I don't know if they have any, any anything good or not. I'm sure they probably do. That's some pretty decent shit. Yeah. Yeah, their prices didn't look too bad. Mm-mm. He used to go to the gun show. He gave me a free range pass one time when I went. That dude who owns that. Oh, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, shoot at my place. I'm like, all right. Hmm. Like, cool. All right. Like, sure. Free gun range. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he gave Keithian like two of them. Yeah, yeah. Two passes. Mm-hmm. 
So then you just gotta pay for the target? Yeah. Ammo if you need ammo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I took that one to the gun range. I probably, this one, but like I said, this one is like more of my home defense, so I just leave this one yeah. here normally. I just, it's been a while since I shot it, so I was like, eh, let me yeah. take it with me. Yeah, it's always good to go. Because I wanted to also see the difference between that one, and, and it was my first time shooting that one, yeah. so I just wanted to see what the difference was. And when you put it back together, that always has to be in that same, that same it, position. It, it, it can go back, but you won't ever get it back on. Right. With it like that, it's got to be always as far forward as it goes. Okay. Just take it in those first uh, tabs. You can see if you go in all the way. And then lock it back. And move that. Oh, gotcha. Nice. That's it. Ready to go. Wipe them off. We'll get the wool on them from just handling them. <laughs> Besides wearing the wool. But yeah. Yeah, that's a good gun. Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> yeah, I think my my review on that one would be I mean, that's probably it's probably one of the smoothest guns I've ever shot. Mm hmm. As far as recoil and um, just handability, mm -hmm. like it's just it's it's light. It's not heavy like a lot of pistols, and the recoil isn't bad. And I, I really got to see why they discontinued that because I'm just curious. Yeah, weird. <laughs> 